All right, welcome everyone with Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Apothecary, Apothecary Diaries, Diaries episode, episode 11. 11. We have mysteries afoot. We do. We have a... Lineages. And, uh, mm -hmm. We have ourselves a love uh, that goes beyond royalty and Indeed. emperorness. Right. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, their, their highness. Um, we have also a reveal that this mystery baby was delivered by your daddy ad yeah adoptive father right uh mau mau yeah there's fun there's a lot of things stewing in this plot stew and yeah i'm curious to see what uh what choices end up being made and what ingredients we find out are in here yeah i wrote i wrote uh, as much as I, I i could down but you know uh don't have actual whiteboard here with me but um the the main gist of it seems to be that we're building out a more interesting emperor in that the reasons yeah. why he specifically brought aduo from being just a regular concubine to being an actual consort of the emperor and yet he's very particular about who he visits and all that and she's not the most in his graces right now which right which you feels know, there's kind of, reasons for that potentially well, oh, that we've been given but yeah, also but, where's the mystery lead then right because mm -hmm. it, it yeah feels like if anything we're more just setting up that he's kind of just happy with the way things are and aduo maybe was thinking there would be more that would come out of this by being yeah his consort and maybe then that's also where like some of the people under her you know her ladies in waiting maybe then realize maybe maybe her desires can be gotten out a bit better if maybe certain people were out of the way or something or you know yeah who knows? And that, that ties in also to the the whole plot of the the show as yep. well but lots of layers to this um, onion the the seventeen years thing feels mighty <laughs> yeah. suspicious towards a specific boy right. in the cast, and yet there's no way like he's totally older than seventeen, right? Like, but bro, these people are growing up, you know, so mm. fast. Like, yeah. like the more and more I think about it, the more and more it just feels convenient. Mm -hmm. He he has been definitely acting very boyish and teenager like mm -hmm. recently, and and I will say. That would add a very fun element to Gaussian's dynamic with him of like the I'm your bodyguard, but also like, God damn it, can't you grow up, my guy? Like Yeah. But yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Producing two to one. Oh, that's a title. Oh. Okay. Damn. Uh, preparations to move. Mm. Honey, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. There it is. Oh shit. There it is. Naniga あなたには関係のない話じゃなく私の父なので。シェ。その頃東宮妃だったアードヒの出産が時期が重なったことでしょうか。ファーク。いいかんはまだ戻ってこれないの。まだ皇后様。いや、cuz <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Shit. Oh, that's a little bit あの様は助けることもできなかった。矢部の娘なのに。赤子の死因はこの間の毒を白い事件と同じだと思われていますが、お白いを使うのを禁じてたはずです。あは。それによって赤子を死なせることはない。本当の死因はこれです。おお。
毒を含まないただの蜂蜜が、需要にいいと与えていた薬が、赤子にとって毒になること。Right. Right. Ardo Sama or Carado, yes, me. Oh, my God. So she did. Ardo Hinoko, I eat tired. Shit. She in one nazo to stay. Toji can that the Watashino Chichi, Tabika Sanar, she tied near. Oh, God. Ardo Hinoko, no, she in or she could to my. Hajimitsu, Akagoni, Totte, or Doku, and Naruto, or she tan this. 自分が唯一の子を殺した原因だと消そうと考えたその人物こそがリーシュヒです OK OK 年上の嫁であるアードーヒになったアハアハアードーヒもリーシュヒのことを可愛がっていた親元から離れた幼い娘とガッチャーいや子供を持つこともできない女性いや、of course they'd hit it off そのうちにあなたはリーシュヒから赤子の頃に蜂蜜を食べて死にかけたと知らされる。Right。リーシュヒをザクロ級から追い返すようになった。先帝が放下して、リーシュヒは追い返された理由もわからぬまま。She also might be behind. 二度と会うことはないと思われたリーシュヒを再び高級に現れる。アドーヒを追いやる立場として。Gotcha。And by extension, you。母親を求めるように、何度もアドーヒに会いに来ようとする。Right. Hatch me to no game or cuckoo stamina. Anatawa, Lee Shuhi no soup me. Hoshi no no anani? Yeah. So no mono arimasen. Uh oh, you should have said that. Nande mo ii no yo. Yeah. Be very careful here. So no no ii ga nai koto. Oh, she's gonna try to kill you. Yep. Goes to get. Now, Mao Mao would be aware of this. あなたは一番大切な人のアード様に初めてお会いした時からこの方以外に使えるべき人はいないと感じていたわ。東宮と同じ目線で話せる。Because of their past, yeah. 言われるがままに次女になった私と比べてどれほど衝撃を受けたか。アード様の一番大切なものをこの手でアード様が玉のように大切にしてきた赤子を。ハード様は私たちにこう言って皆が気に病む必要はない。わお。子供は七つになるまでわからない。And if she had just said then, if she had just said then, yeah. 天の命に従った。Oh my God. Yeah. She says that and then you hear that. Right. ハード様が私を。Strong. And she's been holding this in all that time. Right. I mean, yeah. どのような。Yeah, repayment. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yes, mm -hmm. oh yes. Yep. I mean, yep. she did poison. Mm -hmm. She did poison. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh. Whoa. Reduce two to one. So that oh, Adwo's secret will still be kept. Yeah, 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 exactly. Or. Yeah. 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 なんのことでしょう。ガオシュンに書き物を集めさせていたような。何かわかるかと思いましたが、無駄になってしまいました。お前の言った通り、アードヒの亀、四夫人の座にとどまれるように滑るためだったそうだ。アードヒは上級費を
Hmm. But wait, hmm. you, you can't do that. You can't do that. Sampo de Mosuruko. ポンミンの処刑は終わった。デム、やっぱ。アドーヒが高級をさるという戦客会。こう。この間すぐに帰りますので。いや、いっぱい付き合わないか。酒。The best kind of poison. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that sort of parallel with her situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. みんなバカだ。そうかもしれません。スケールオブダッシャー。やはりあの下女はアドーヒはそれに気づいていた。本民は自殺に加担していたのかもしれない。アドーヒに嫌疑がかかるようにと冷たい水の中に沈んだ下
mm, we're, we're setting uh, up some juicy wait, things. Did, but but he said list of her. Wait. Did he say family and associates? It could have just been that. We'll have to go back and check. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's too much. Okay. Too fun. much. See, Mamo, it's easy to cook with theories when you're yeah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you're when you've got a pretty boy like that. You're like, hey, that'd be you. a pretty crazy start. No, that's just a ah, delusional story. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Shit, if these guys think he's the emperor, they're gonna be so confused later on. <laughs> right, because it's never the emperor, it's the prince. Yeah. But Jinchi's fucking seventeen. It, it just, it just, yeah, it just all lined up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. All right. All right. All right. So fun. That's wow. Like so we, we got, got tragedy and and uh, uh, yeah, pain. Pain. Lots, lots of, of pain. pain. Yeah. Like I, I loved the whole like reveal confrontation with Feng Ming. Mm -hmm. That was great. I loved that it didn't go for the like she stereotypical to, like, thing of she tries to kill her or whatever. Yeah. No, no, no. No. But but Mama couldn't be sure that she wouldn't try right, to right, right. that. So, <laughs> so she did come prepared. She had body armor on in case. Yeah. But the it's idea that it's the shallow as possible, yeah. Right. Yeah. And and that she also like it it kept in line with um Mau Mau's situation of mm -hmm. I am a person that doesn't really have power. Right. But here's yeah. what I can do. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, and, and here's what motives. you can do. Combining yeah. the motives so mm -hmm. that... One thing is kept secret. Yeah, and you so, get to choose. Right. So that works really well because it was so long ago. Right. So the connection isn't made because people aren't necessarily thinking about that time back then, 16, 17 years ago. And like I said, even though Feng Ming doesn't know this, I'm just coming here to just work they mm -hmm. asked me to observe whatever. I'm I'm not going to do anything here. No. So you don't have to worry about me and no there isn't anything I want. Right. You know, so that's that's both tough and but it's also a, that an opportunity. Cold, that cold honesty to be like yeah. how you take this is going to depend it's up on to you. what you choose right. here. You don't need to do something in response to me. No. What are you going to do? Yeah. And I I love it because it was basically the consignment of I can either keep killing effectively for Aduo's sake or I can let myself mm. die mm. and then okay. it's just over. I, I like mean, it. I mean she wouldn't necessarily have kept killing, but yeah. she was fighting a feudal battle. Well and it was it was, it was a Pyrrhic victory. Right. Know. And at the end, do you want it to be where um, you know, you were fighting to protect her status mm -hmm. or that you were doing this to cover up your own mistake right and that's and that's the combination of where things are you know filled in with the shame of her doing yeah. all this work right. so dedicatedly because she regrets mm -hmm. every bit of this and while uh you you still inadvertently caused the death of a baby you might have also inadvertently it, caused the death of the, the servant too uh, sure y yes absolutely or more right yes because you got them to you know it's like hey here's what we're gonna do you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But um, but it wasn't her child. No. And and the fact that that um she wasn't able to ever get to the point where she apologizes and like, I know I'm so sorry. It was me. You know, right? Like I didn't mean to do it. I didn't realize that was a thing that could happen. You know. Yeah. She never learned the truth that no, right. I found out later. My my baby's alive. Mm -hmm. I just I can't be his mom. Because right. he has a better life. And I love that that reveal happened much later. Right. And we don't even because need to know entirely how the babies got swapped or how the reveal ended up happening. Well, we know how long after it was. Uh, it, yeah. When, when, because uh, this is when Li Xu comes around. Uh, yeah. So it was at least a decade, probably. Oh. After. Oh, gotcha. I thought you were going to say it's it's when uh, when dad gets kicked out because they're like, what the fuck? Well, no, no, no. Just the idea of like when Li Shu comes back to then being in the rear palace again, mm -hmm. it was probably at, at least a decade after this whole thing. Oh. So the idea that she learns about the uh, 
Oh, 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 no, no, that's right. Li Shi was really young yeah, back she was, then. Yeah. So it might have been like, I would guess at least eight years. I would. Guess. Uh, right. It's yeah. Just so gross. Well, and, but... and I was I wasn't talking about the finding out about the honey thing. Oh, I was, oh, I was okay. talking about the um, uh, Ajuo finding out about the fact that her son's alive. You know, right? Like, ah, right, right, and right, and right. that and the whole swap and all of that stuff. No, she could she could have figured that out probably at any point yep. along. And it's just the whole, you know, as the as the child there. grows up and it's like the wait a minute. I, I see. I see myself that's, in him. Yeah. yeah, I see myself in him. Okay, yeah. I'll just keep quiet about it, and there you go. You've got a do better you wonder, life. You know? Do you wonder if the emperors figured it out by now? And it's I just think, one of those things of where he's like, I, yeah, maybe that, that is what it is. I, I would not be. I would not entirely be surprised. And yeah. and it would absolutely end up like it's like, oh, this isn't my little brother after all. Mm -hmm. But. God damn, I am going to abs wait. Oh yeah, because then it's also it's he like everybody thinks it's his little brother, but it's right. his actual son. Yeah, yeah. Which then is the perfect also cover for the like right. not that they'd be worried in this safe of a place, but like yeah. you can keep your son in a safe place as he grows up, learns responsibility, you know, and mm -hmm. and eventually you can re unveil him and everything as yeah. the prince and all that stuff. And and in some ways while that's well, that's fun if he doesn't know, because he uh, doesn't have to. He know. doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. In some ways, it almost is like equally good for yeah. the story if he doesn't know it versus he does know. But I could totally see it being something where he would, he'd look at Jinchi and he'd be like, "Yeah, you're the spitting image of the woman I loved." You right, know, right? right? Like, yeah. like <laughs> that's like yes, you know. But and also, yet, there's the like, how often does he see Jinchi? You know, sure. And then on top of all of that, the um, from the standpoint of succession. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, like Mao Mao said, oh, it's a ludicrous story. You know, it's 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 all you know, all just supposition. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily work very well for the masses as far as are you the actual descendant? You know, right, right. Like that. And then it's just the question of then, is he a eunuch? Then maybe I I because, don't think so because. Because although hmm, I wanted, did. I wanted to have. I, I, I know, I know. You're thinking the same thing when he's like, "Hold it here," and she's sitting directly where yeah. his dick would like, be. Wait a minute. Now, granted, I think most of the time when people talk about eunuchs, they're not talking about the 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 uh, the, the rod. You know, the shaft. They're they talking about the the. Well, there's the, different kinds. There's different kinds. Well, yes. Some have. Some have snips, some have, you know, no, like, right. But like, you know, you just you just get rid of the berries and and you're good, you know, right? Like, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's a fair point. Yeah. So we'll have to we'll have to find out for for medical reasons which which one yeah. we're dealing with here. But they they definitely had an opportunity for a joke there, and yes. they didn't do it. And, and in some ways, that, I appreciate that because it was a very showed a lot serious of restraint, scene. and it was a very serious scene. And I liked that we were able to get this vulnerable side of him there. And while he does not know that's his mother. Yeah. That's... But, like... And she, she brought him in, basically, to just keep her company as mm -hmm. she's realizing, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you. Yep. And I might never see you again. And yet, but... I wouldn't be surprised if there was that part of him that maybe suspects, right? In the same way that, you know, like, the emperor so? might suspect. Yeah. I think that, in some ways... Because I think he would, like... Okay. He'd be one of the people that would probably spend a decent amount of time with her because he manages the rear palace, right? Uh, right, right. And so then it's the, that, But also she looks a lot like, you but know. Also, I want to put out something there. It's actually, actually something that feels a little bit more like, because you don't look at your own face, oh. you know, constantly. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> he, she absolutely, when he's like, oh, yeah, 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 oh. yeah, just... A little bit of skincare, right? Right. Like, like, exactly. Something, something. I mean, yes, men practice skincare. Please, come on. Anyway, but that being said, uh -huh. there is a possibility that it's the yeah he 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 sees the resemblance and it's just something that maybe like has that little bit of like shiver. But there's no there's yeah. no recollection right. in any serious. But, you but know. something about that interaction, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever it was, whether it's because he's just very empathetic or he's a sad drunk or who knows. Or, you know, other stuff that's been happening or, in his life. Or even life. if he'd suspected uh -huh. the fact that maybe she didn't say anything broke his heart because yeah, it's if, like... If you are, please tell me. This is why, this is when you would, right? And then she just leaves and comes back and she's like, okay, I got what I needed. Thank you. Right. And it's the, oh, okay. Like, like he would probably be thinking, yes, I know why you wouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. But like... 
Yeah. Come and, on. And so who's to say? Jinchi mm-hmm. doesn't feel like someone who's dumb. Like he's he's got a no. lot of he's got a lot of intelligence percolating up in that, you know, yep. dumbass, silly right. little immature brain of his. But like after all of this intrigue and us finding out what's the situation, yeah. There's a whole other layer of potential intrigue. Now that it'll go into that because there will probably right, be too Ma- much conflict around it. Because Mao doesn't have like you know proof of this, and she's but not sh- one to spill secrets. To right, people. right, exactly. So there's what the characters do and don't know. Yeah, and and the idea that we could be left with just this, as far as addressing it, especially for like the foreseeable mm-hmm. future. Yeah. Like, and then maybe yeah. all we have left is to just wonder in the same well, way that maybe Jinshi or other people would well, of the what actually is the case. And all we know is that there was a lot well, of feeling there that maybe that, wasn't that entirely is, understood. That, that, is, that would know. That well, could know. That oh, might wait. know. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yeah, no. All right, sorry. Sorry. Jinshi probably wouldn't know yeah. necessarily, but he could. The Fuck. dad would definitely know because that's what he was punished for. And so, the emperor almost definitely knows. Oh, the emperor then would would definitely know. Yeah, because yeah, that yeah. was part of the punishment, right? Like if we go with Mao Mao's. Theory. Yeah, because because I I like the idea. Well, well, but that that makes it so that it was an actual failing of of her 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 dad uh, rather than uh-huh. just the hey we're gonna punish you because a baby died when we made it so that you couldn't actually like you know mm-hmm. help that baby at the time right. that was most critical. You know. Yeah. Like. Especially if it's like he's the main guy, right? Like, yeah. yes, I could totally see that happening in that sort of like royal position where it's just like, nope, off with their heads kind of a thing, right? Sure. But sure. okay, we like you, so we'll spare you. You know, you'll just get, you know, exiled or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if it's the, no, as a result of your fuck up, the, the, the actual emperor, like current, you know, emperor at that point, their son died because they weren't maybe getting the same kind of immense care and focus and attention that that, that maybe he was getting. trying to two time it going back and forth Who, who's to say I, I like that they kept it really up in the air as to if the emperor's son died uh, the empress dowager specifically mm-hmm. in that regard but because you're drawing the distinction between the, the women not the man here in this uh-huh. case um then because it because i think no, yeah, it did die yeah. because because feng ming fed it the honey but it was just it was the different baby it was the even worse baby right right, right. But, on, why, right but how would you have a switch happen if the yeah. baby didn't die in childbirth like like how would a switch up even happen um like the so here well okay so they're both brought to no. the same place for care yeah basically. yeah exactly and, and then and then he he just really fucks up maybe he's so frazzled with all the stuff he's been doing whatever and they mix up which baby is which. Sure. Like, especially in a situation where, um, like, there would be so few babies getting born, if this makes sense. Oh, that sure. That there wouldn't be a lot of support Practice. for that situation. Yeah. Not a good right? system, really. Right? And so, and so then it's mm-hmm. just down to basically the one person, because you're the expert. You do all of this, right? Right. It just feels like if you're going to have a swap, and they're in different completely different areas of the palace this palace is huge uh-huh. like why would why would they be brought so far <laughs> why would the babies be brought potentially I, I imagine it would probably just it, it would probably just be for the so that Mama's dad could care for them both you know like cause yeah. it's the you know uh I guess getting, the women are basically like half dead from giving birth as well. And also don't you know. necessarily have any uh, rights with regards to this situation. It's just no. the, hey, um, when when you're convenient for caring important. for the baby. Right, the baby suddenly becomes way more important than they are. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. so, yeah, when the baby is fully healthy enough to, you know, for you to take care of it, then yes, we'll give you the baby back. You sure. know, but until then, no, the professional's going to handle it and whoops. Yeah, I would love to have Mau Mau not be 100% right on some of the things mm. here, though. I mm-hmm. think that would be really cool to see in which she learns little things that kind of yeah. add flavor to the story. Uh-huh. Um, A sweet flavor, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully not poisonous. Um, but yeah. yeah, Jin Shi and her had some really fun interactions, but also, yeah, this is their first really um, mm-hmm. emotional interaction. And we didn't get any kind of later comedy of him remembering that he did it to subvert that moment. Nope. I don't think he was drunk enough to... Um, yeah, uh, basically be black out and no, not he, remember that. I no. imagine he probably would have been trying to. He, he you was know, right, like he was very emotionally vulnerable. Yep. He uh-huh. 
he needed oh, yeah. her in that case there. And yes, he wasn't being a, a, a very uh, good little prince in this regard by, no. you know, not letting her go. But um, yeah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. This changes everything. This changes absolutely everything. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we get at least confirmation for us as the audience to understand a bit more of the situation, mm -hmm. even if, and granted, Mau Mau understands the situation, or at least she, you know, thinks she does, but mm -hmm. doesn't, you know, doesn't give it too much thought, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's very helpful for me to be like, ah, as the show continues to basically have these characters go on their journey, right? Yeah. And discover the specific ins and outs and and we go on the art you know, throughout the palace. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I I, yeah. I feel I feel way better about being able to follow along with those things mm -hmm. because with uh, Jinshi specifically, since he'd been so enigmatic, you know, and mm -hmm. sort of like a whirlwind, mm -hmm. I didn't always know what to expect, you know, in the future from him. You know, it was right. more the ah Mao Mao. I I he's, I got he's you, a counterpoint you know. to Mao Mao. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Right. The the. Uh, <laughs> Well, I'm not sure. No, yeah, she's the straight man in the comedy routine. Oh, she absolutely, absolutely. is yes, the yes. straight. What she's are you a fantastic about? straight man. That is, yeah, that is yeah. that is the epitome right. of Mao Mao. Yes, she's she's so much. Well, the thing is, she's such a fantastic straight man uh -huh. that she almost seems like she's the one pulling the weight in the comedy routine, right? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, but I don't think if anything can beat me. Just. Uh, you know, like just mm. complete frozen Jinshi, or just yeah, that was pretty the, good. The ways in which Jinshi which, like uh, yeah. scuttles about with this like little bit of like <laughs> the, the scampering gremlin right? energy. The, okay, yeah. Now that I think about it, the getting so devastated when she takes a you know a proposal card of sorts, you know, from other men. That's a total teenager thing. <laughs> but then two, yeah, the actual adult older lady comes in mm -hmm. and is upset with him, and he's like, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like that's that that's that's not the grown ass Mommy, adult that's the like other a, concubines you know, are picking on me. <laughs> right. It's like, oh shit, you know, like I, I got caught doing something I wasn't supposed to do. I'm out. Like, I'm out. <laughs> the shoe's gonna be coming for my head pretty quick. Right, you know? right, right. I need to dodge that. <laughs> Serpentine. I Let's go. Dodge, no. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Lady Li Shu also has developed quite a bit in this episode in showing the ways in which she relied on Aduo mm. to be kind of a pseudo mother figure for her while in this scary place. And great. Aduo was a wholesome, mm -hmm. wonderful mother figure for yep. her. Uh -huh. So it's just this kind of thing where, yeah, all the consorts, the, the, the four of them, mm -hmm. were amazing. Yep. None of them have anything like malicious or... Evil but, or, but when or you get down to the ladies in waiting, it gets it gets scary. Right. And and the reason why is because they are all their lives are so mm -hmm. so singularly tied to yep. their 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 consort, basically their head lady, that if something happens to her, if something were to change, oh yeah, there's a different kind of umbilical cord. Yeah, you it's know, a right? very like, different kind of umbilical cord. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, but and but it's not you know. just going one way. No, because they absolutely take care of her. It's the a flow. situation with Li Shu is a great example of that to yeah. the point that I almost was wondering, mm -hmm. and theoretically this could be the case, and because it's Mao Mao thinking about it, right. she's not necessarily going to know all of the stuff and she doesn't like to you know she doesn't like conjecture very much, mm -hmm. you know. Um I was wondering if Fang Ming ended up also instigating the other ladies in waiting turning on Li Shu. Yeah, I think you know? that's like, something where the not story necessarily. Didn't, the story but, didn't explore it because there's uh -huh. not enough evidence for it to be done. But and I think realistically, it's, probably not, given that she ended up trying to kill Lady Li Shu. Yeah, so mean girl talk. Not. That's that's, that, that's that small just, stuff. Well, and that'd just be something that would potentially trace back to her. So, you oh know, sure, right? It's like, just yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's not final enough. It's, exactly. Um, yeah. yeah, and and in some ways, while that's there, it. We like, have enough characterization for most of the ladies in waiting based on the way that they mm -hmm. react to their consort that um, that still falls in line with the previous yeah. bits of characterization given. So, but I, I love wow. that they got that happy moment at the end before Abdul mm -hmm. left. It yeah. was great. I love that that was the time specifically that Mao Mao chose to leave. Yeah, um, this is yeah. great. I, yeah. I love it. I feel like I feel like now we can actually kind of feel like there's potentially. Like, like you said uh, in a previous discussion, that there is actually a romance potentially happening now, you know? Mm -hmm. Because, like, this is... We got the moment where Mao Mao softened up to Jinchi a bit, mm -hmm. you know? Right? She understands him a little bit better. She 
does not want to have him hold on to her and you know and all that stuff and be his cry pillow but she's like okay yeah that he's crying he's going through something right now i don't entirely get it but right that's a yeah i really love the my son left me i wanted to say something so mm-hmm. bad i was like yeah right that's that's such a that's such a thing right there yeah. and yet at the same time i'm like okay they why why i think it's so beautiful mm-hmm. is that it leaves it there for the audience to be like is that it well, at the same time, if that is all it was, it would still be fantastic because then that shows how she has been able to grieve. After mm-hmm. we got Feng Ming with having the whole, like, not, like, oh my God, this is just circling around in my head and I'm spiraling and everything. No, she was actually able to, to come to terms with the fact that her child passed. And then, oh, wait, no, it's actually because she knows that he didn't. Yeah. And yeah. she stuck around. Mm-hmm. Even though this was a role given to her out of pity, which right. is fun for the emperor, because what he's basically saying is, I'm now the emperor. I can't solely devote myself to you, my mm-hmm. previous one and only lover. Yep. So therefore, out of apologies, mm-hmm. I'll make you one of my head concubines. Right. So that you will you will still have the favor and position even if you will say never be the empress dowager because I do need to actually have an heir. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. And and I also love the line of the um I became his friend or rather I went back to being his friend. Turned, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that's that's a a wonderful again parallel to the whole Mao Mao Jinshi situation. Is, yep. But also just as a way to like tying back to the Feng Ming situation where it's the mm-hmm. no she actually interacted with him as an equal and holy shit that was incredible to see mm-hmm. as someone from, you know, where I I became a a lady in waiting just because my parents said I should, you know, mm-hmm. right? Like Yes, that would absolutely like mm-hmm. induce awe and you know admiration and respect and all of these things. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Character writing just keeps getting added on, and mm-hmm. it makes good. me happy when we do that in shows like this with large ensemble casts, where mm-hmm. you don't really have that much time to have any more than two main characters because everybody right. else has to get that you know sprinkling of of time mm-hmm. in the spotlight. Yep. Um, but. Uh, yeah, Mao Mao and Jinshi. Uh, Mao Mao might have some big info on him that she just is uh-huh. like, I'm gonna not like act on it. But if I see things start to connect to that, yeah. Oh, I wonder hmm. if. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, now the question remains: cock balls or neither? <laughs> I mean, or both. Yeah. I I well okay. Um depending on when it was discovered that the babies were swapped uh which theoretically could have taken a while right we just know that it was after the actual then prince you know Mm -hmm. died um he could have already been in a position as eunuch at that point but i like to think that if i mean why would he be (laughs) no no like if it was like 10 years later right like and and then he just becomes a eunuch working in the rear palace you know because Oh, because of just the we we can't have you here as or wait no sorry to the emperor no wait but oh no yeah no well right because mm, because uh, this this would be why is because if they think that he is the emperor the current emperor's younger brother right then it like that could be a show of deference of the yes you are the you are the ruler I will not bear children it is just you I I will I it is impossible for me to be the man of ambition you know mm. right. And so I will support you as best I can. But you know? we also, as seeing that you are important, will give you a position You're here right. of slightly more power. You will you will help run the country, basically. You sure, know? sure. Yeah. Now, I think my personal perspective on it, given mm-hmm. that we've seen all of this stuff, yeah. is that he's not a eunuch. They do, like, you know, they, they did find out, and that's uh, part of why he's here. Maybe they've given but... him one in that regard, in, like, entitled to keep other people from trying to use him or do anything Mm. like that but it's kind of like his secret like if he lets anybody know then we'll like kill you well like well like (laughs) sure (laughs) and and, or the um uh this is also why it's maybe helpful in that Uh, hey all of these ladies here want to get with you and they don't even know that you're like maybe wait, in direct wait, succession to yes. the throne. So hold up. So is he actually the biggest giga chat ever to say like, no ladies. No ladies. Because I may have a magnificent emperorly dick and balls, yeah. but they're not for you. Right, exactly. Yeah! Because, because I'm too responsible to 
like, right. sire a bunch of bastards that could cause trouble for the right, right, succession. Right, right. Yeah. So I'm not going to. And then he Holy. sees Mau Mau and he's like, oh, bear my children. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mau Mau is the one that's yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> to make him go wild. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's just because of her personality being uh-huh. so fucking fun and, yep. and like, intelligent and right because and, i'm sure he's also like that right that right amount of prickly and exciting you yeah because yeah. he also would have become responsible enough to then yes. realize yeah no that would actually be a bad idea because like like yeah that would be a bad idea for me and you know oh, everything God, and all and that imagine stuff. if he even suspects slightly what's going on then it's even more of a big deal where it oh uh-huh and, and so and I, so I that's why he doesn't that's, know that. no no i, I hope he doesn't know that. i hope he does because what? I hope he does. Because that adds more emotion to the conversation he had with Aduo, right? That, I just want that adds to the situation with Mama where he's like, I want to get close to her, but I can't also say the thing, and I don't want me being the actual prince to be the thing that makes her like me. But you know, right? Like all of this stuff, and and then also so wait, the man was about to finger her with the honey, and is like, oh, my dick almost got the better of me right away, <laughs> like. Yeah, and anti anti Gokyo is, is coming Auntie. at me. With, oh, I mean, or uh, uh, stepmom. I guess. Because because if she's the one that has the favor with the current they're emperor, who's his dad? They're related to him. They're no, no, just no, concubines. No, no, right. But if she's the current main concubine of the emperor, who's I mean, his dad? I don't think she's the empress con- uh, empress dowager or anything like that. No, no. Like, well, the the person that we had established as the empress dowager was the. Previ- the Empress Dowager to the previous Emperor, I believe. Uh, and so, right, and right. so, if because I think it's in that like middling stage where the baby is too young to fully, you know, whatever. But if Gyokyo's baby ends up being the next, well, no, but then wait, hang on, I'm confused. But point is, is that <laughs> that effectively could have been potential future stepmom coming in and being like, "The fuck are you doing?" <laughs> right? <laughs> like, yeah. And now we have uh, Mao Mao under the scopes. Because of the connection uh, side right. of things with uh, Fong Ming's death here, yeah, that's interesting. I think that's a. I think we kind of misinterpreted whether that was meaning like the, that she was going to be familiarly related. No, yeah, because it's Ming, it's but no. uh, family and associates. Right, right. that makes sense. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like she spent a decent amount of time right. with but her. But I'm then excited also for the Jinchi to, to maybe push on her a little bit, being like, "So, yeah, what did you, you know." Uh, what did you like, find? You know? Right, right. Like, because he kind of let her do her thing, and he's like, "Okay, yep, you know, all right, right." Like, he doesn't gonna, need I'm to do my part. And... Yeah, which also is great as set up for like married couple shenanigans, where it's the no. Nah. You have your agency. I have mine. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't need how to know. How was your work, honey? Yeah. How was your work, honey? Right. Like, and and nice. Like, you, she's just the 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 agent that he sends <laughs> in. <laughs> And she just does stuff, and he doesn't know I how. I just love right? it because now even more their romance can never be like, like, like. Oh, and yet like, it will totally be. Well, no, 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 it will be, but it can't be ever like official, you know? Like it can't. The royal prince, ne- royal princes never listen to that shit. Like, but again, again, <laughs> the, the British he's royal never going to be acknowledged this. as the royal prince. Like that's that's the part. Nah. If he will, it's going to be things are going to be way once different. He's, once he's point. like come of age or like the he's, emperor's he's, he's, health he's definitely to, like basically of age. No, like, no, but I think it's about? I think it's that plus also maybe the emperor starting to like get progressed a bit more so that I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, I feel but, like yeah. Well, it doesn't need to actually get confirmed at all no, or anything no, that's because, my point. because this is all done in like the behind the scenes stuff. So, ah. y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So, yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.